Hello Leo and welcome to your solar your coffee, coffee cup reading. Um, happy birthday to all of you out there. This is a birthday gift to you guys from me. Um, bear in mind this is a very very general reading and of course every solar year every year had anything um, we experience a lot of changes, lots of ups and downs, all relationships and that. When I when I look at this now, especially in this general reading, is the things that I do point out, you know, so if you say, oh, well, yeah, we all have changes in relationship with that, that means it's going to be really significant. So that means it showed up here because sometimes I'll do readings, um, I don't mention health, okay? So that means it's not a, an issue or whatever. So I just want to to let you know how that kind of works. So I did drink your coffee cup, place it here. This is going to be a general, general reading for all of you. And um, we're going to start working on that. It's time to read it. Ooh, Home and Foundation for sure is in focus. Um, and then I'm going to, I did shuffle the cards. And as I was shuffling, I wanted to pull um, for each deacon. Um, so the first week, uh, early Leo's um, specific messages. Then for the next uh second deacon and third deacon but they will apply to your entire for all of you it's just more maybe specific for that for each deacon okay so i want you to know that and if there's any major arcanas i do clarify it i already focused on that when i was reading um shuffling it so now let's get on to the coffee cup reading and we'll get into that okay so Definitely, um, there is a big focus on home and foundation, okay? So there is a little bit of negative energy there, or there's just a lot of changes. Also connected to family. This could be people moving in, people, um, uh, maybe someone moves in, you could be moving to at the same time. Very significant. There is some luck here. Even though it's in the yellow, there could be frustration that comes with things. You do have a cross here, so there is death and rebirth. That can indicate sometimes an ending, a permanent ending, which can mean someone's physical death or it just can be you're going to finally move, okay? It's because you've got an ending here. There is some luck on your side, blessings in disguise, a lot of movement. You also have a lot of energy in the home and foundation, a little bit gray, a little bit scary, fears and things like that. But then you've got this beautiful growth here, fertility. At the same time, there could be a lot of, um, you know, a child moves in uh, back home, Um uh, a baby is born. So we're seeing a lot of focus. You also have a lot of four type of energy. So there's a big focus on uh, home and foundation, period. Yes, it comes with some stresses. Also health. Watch your health. Okay, take rest when you need to. But you have luck on your side here too. So at the uh, it's really building onto something very fertile here. Okay, um, nice, beautiful energy as well. You get a combination of energies here. So even if I was looking at this just as, as private, someone's private reading, re really a combination of energies here. But th that's what I'm seeing overall here as well, okay? So that's something that really showed up. Um, there is an energy here overall that I'm seeing that um, it's very significant that someone from your past may come back in your life. Someone that you have not heard for from in a very long time you know, that you maybe suspected you never would. That's how profound it is. That is very likely. So really someone coming back um, from the past that you did not hear from in a long, long time. Okay, for some of you, um, if you've been like in college for a while or something, just say um, you may be moving back home actually, okay? Or some of you moving out too. So we see this lot of movement in home and foundations, okay? So even that ex extending, but I do see someone... Or a situation, it could be too, coming back from the past. Like I said, it's a general, so I'm giving you those examples. Um, you have very nurturing energy too. For some of you, your mother or a mother figure can be um, in focus this year. There is a lot of energy with feminine uh, females in your life, okay? Whether you're male or female, a lot of female energy here. But most are very supportive, okay? So that came into focus too. Overall, I'm also seeing a lot of changes, okay? There is a lot of changes, a lot of uh, multitasking type of energy. It's like remodeling, redoing, re-adjustments, um, learning, a lot of changes, okay? So we're seeing that. Um, changes of plans, a lot of things, and it's all connected with home and foundation. And there's also travel involved here as well, okay? Um, I do see... 
beautiful energy with the self, um, you, uh, very new beginning. This is, um, some of you could be finding you love. If you've had problems in your relationship, I see a lot of you renewal of love, beautiful love energy coming through. And there's blessings in there, in that department too, because you got even a clover in a way. But it's like blessings in disguise. Again, I'm seeing spiritual energy. It's like an angel. A lot of spirit, um, spiritually being protected. But at the same time, there is a cross here. So this could be someone that maybe has passed away. And that is like becomes your spirit guide. Or, you know, you pray and uh, you're missing. And they're there, you know. Um, and it depends what, what you believe in. It's like, you know, everybody has their own spirit, spiritual guide. It's, an, it's angelic energy as well. Okay, so a lot of spiritual energy. You have a foot too. Definitely movement, but it's up in the spiritual area too. So um, a lot of movement, lot, making that imprint, okay? This is faded energy as well. Um, some of you are going to be dealing with some fate, destiny beyond your control. There are people, situations that are, will be leaving your life. Things are going to change. They're not going to look the same, especially when you look back a few years from now. So I'm seeing that. I only see what I see. <laughs> I only read what I see. Um, so I do see also a lot of you could be with work or whatever you do most of the day. I do see you really, um, you could be going into partnership and that could be even with your own romantic partner or you can just say you're working with someone in a partnership at work that could become a relationship. That is so um, on point here for a lot of you. Partnerships and love and work are coming together. Um, really finances too. Money is looking good. Um, now you're going to be in the spotlight with the money. It's, I see shiny energy, but it's for some of you, when that comes through, it could mean it's going to spotlight, um, debts, um, things that you need to wrap up and take care of. Okay. So it finances are coming into the spotlight. Okay. But it is overall very good energy, but there's going to be some maybe news or things that you're going to have to, um, you know, take care of debts, things like that. So it's in the spotlight, it's coming through. So if you've been shying away from some debts, um, maybe now the creditors are going to be coming at the door too. So that is something I'm seeing. Matters of the heart, there is a huge energy. It's like if you look at the cards tower, um, there could be confrontations, changes, really um, big changes um, in matters of the heart, okay? Because I see it's breaking away something and you got new um people and experiences um coming through for some it's very significant when you're traveling you may meet somebody new on your travels again death and rebirth when it comes to um love and um matters of the heart it's like an explosion so we're seeing an, an ending for some that can indicate again physical deaths um of people you know but it um also is definitely changes there for others that um it, that, it's either way it's either going to bring you much closer a breaking point, breakthrough in a relationship, or it's going to um, end, you know, going your own separate ways. Um, health and well-being is coming into focus too, okay? I do see for some of you much better energy there too. So if you haven't been, um, if you have been not feeling good or been stressed a lot or had health issues, it should be looking much better, okay? You got a lot of spiritual energy around as well, okay? So that is showing up. Um I see some secrets can be revealed. A lot of secretive energy too. Um, you're going to, some of you are going to be really dealing with your internal fears. Okay. Now there's a breakthrough. For some of you, there could be like a phobia that you had. You're going to conquer it. You may be faced with it. Just say you're scared of heights. And I'll give you an example here. You're scared of heights. You may be faced one day that you're, I mean, I'm, Trust me, I'm just giving an example, and it can sound extreme, where um, you have to jump, um, um, I don't know, you're hanging off a ledge or something, or you have to, like, jump off, uh, you know, you're faced with the height somehow where you're going to be able to conquer it. Uh, I know, I'm sorry, I'm just giving really extreme type of, um, what's it called, um, analogies, okay? Of course, it's ridiculous, but... <laughs> Or just say, you know, you, you have a fear of swimming and you're caught somewhere where you're going to have to, you, you see someone um, troubled or drowning and you're just going to jump in and save them and then you conquer that fear or something. You know what I mean? I see a lot of you may be conquering fears and that could be different kind of fears. It's not just that. 
be careful of some secrets in that. It could be exposure too. Now, um, also really, really, really be, do not um, do anything illicit or illegal. Stay, obey the law this year. I really see that energy is very important because um, it's not going to be on your side, meaning you don't do something, there's consequences. At the same time, someone very close to you, or you may hear of someone, um, someone else's health, or this could be someone may have legal issues because I see some confinement or restriction that could actually be someone going to jail. Um, so we're seeing that energy. You may have news of that too. Okay, so I am seeing that. Um, you have a lot of major changes, okay? Not all solar years are very major changes, but yes, but powerful energies too. So those were the pinpoint energies that I saw here too. For some of you, take care of your lungs. I do see that energy as well. Okay, so the lung area, infections or anything um, in that area too. Okay, so that is something very significant. So there's really strong energy persevering, um, but there's a footprint of faded energy that's coming through as well that really uh, struck um, out at me as well. Yeah, okay, so on the plate, there's a sense of confinement, okay? This is self-inhibitation. These could be fears or whatever it is. And maybe you want things to move faster. Maybe you are um, not wanting to change some things, okay? And you're just seeing too many changes and then it's like, <gasps> you know what I mean? There's some stress here. There's some focus um, on that, too. So I see that overall here. Not everyone, but that's what is showing up. It could be an underlying energy. Um, there's going to be two paths or two choices that you're going to have to make this year that looks like it's going to be very significant. And it's like choose one and move forward with one, okay? Because you can't choose wrong. It's just not choosing at all is keeping you stuck is what I'm picking up here. Yes, um, there's going to be an end to some situations. For some, there's going to be um really um harsh disappointments very harsh endings to some certain situations this could be jobs relationships um or certain situations in your life just say something does clear up um maybe ongoing problems in that but it could be an abrupt and end to something and you're just going to be moving forward from it so at least that clears okay so i have to say because it's kind of very watery here again uh, watch your emotions this year too. Very watery energy. You know, I saw that in your weekly coffee cup. Was it you guys? Yeah. So um, some of you may be dealing with water a lot this year. So um, this could be health and um, well-being, emotions. Um, for some, when I look at that, for females, it could be a cycle change. For some, can be going through significant life cycle changes. For example, menopause. Um, or just massive changes that are going on. Empty nest syndrome, things like that. For men, midlife crisis, I call it menopause for them too. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I'm just seeing that energy. Or again, water. Um, they could be, be careful around water, okay? So that's another thing we're seeing here. Um, definitely, you're going to be, um, the. it's like mental stress, and also emotional stress, there's going to be, it's going to be clearing. So you're going to be have to deal with that. There's a big focus on that and walking away from some stuff before, or you're just going to be making the moves before you see things are ending as well. That also is going to clear something for you to bring some nice luck in. in um, to you. It's like when you clear something or get rid of something negative, it opens the door for something positive. And that's what I'm seeing here. There is going to be some reunions, get-togethers, okay? There is some good energies. There's going to be some, at least one significant thing that's going to be a big thing that you're going to celebrate this year. Besides a birthday and that, uh, regular holidays, this will be something that happens. This will be something that was very successful, something, you know, maybe that you don't even know about yet. So I do see that energy um, for a lot of you, okay? Well, let's... Um Pull the cards now for each deacon, and that will wrap up the reading. Okay, so the first deacon, I'm going to pull two cards. If you are born between August 23rd, no, July 23rd and August 1st, I was, I was already, my mind's racing for it, so Virgo. <laughs> you have the three of clubs and the ace of clubs. Okay, it's in reverse. So we are seeing club cards, high creative energy. Communications is going to be very important. Learning, teaching, this is very good, okay? This is also uh, um, exhibiting your talents this year. 
um, work and career is coming through here too. New beginnings. Even though there's delays, um, sometimes it could be reviewing things, restarting things, up and down energy as well. So we do see three, uh, three communications. This is networking, work and career, very good recognition, a sense of authoritarian energy too. And then you have new beginnings, maybe delayed a little back and forth energy, but there's a new beginning um, starting too. Um, this can be maybe half of the year to the next half of the year or just um, in general. This is for everyone, but most likely it's hitting this energy um, for the first deacons. Um, you will exert like an authority over others this year. That's what I'm picking up here, like around you. There's that aura of authority around or people are going to perceive you that way. Okay, very creative energy. Um, you will definitely have a knack of um, attracting um, attention. Okay, because it's like you're you've got this leadership, um, you know, taking the lead. You're like the leader this year. Um, you're definitely in the spotlight. You can influence a lot of people. Okay, if you are definitely into like performing arts or arts or in the public in public office, like palette anywhere, public office in the public public eye, this can indicate also a very good year. You may be doing very well. You may be in the public eye. You may be even speaking on the radio. Um, to a group of people, you may be in public, fame comes through here too, okay, so I see that very good energy there, um, very ambitious energy as well, so that's for the first deacons, born July 23rd to August 1st, for overall too, and second deacon, which is July 2nd through the 12th, no, August 2nd through the 12th is um, four of hearts, and you got the ace of hearts, Okay, so here's focus on love, love cards, okay? You have the four, home and foundation. It's matters of the heart here are very important. Maybe the first half of the year and then the second goes into a new beginning. Here we got two new beginnings, okay? Um, here is the ace of hearts. And notice these both are still in reverse here, okay? So when I'm looking at this here, home and family and foundation, very nice energy, okay? Beautiful. This is sometimes additions to the family. This is um, the marriage card, too. Sometimes it's like you're buying a new home. Good energy with the, with that. But there is a focus on home and foundations and building your foundations here. Um, then you have the Ace of Hearts. This is in reverse. So this could be some delays, you know, starting a new beginning here. This also indicates these cards together. Some of you may be getting married this year. Maybe there's a delay. Maybe it's just a proposal, okay? Um, but there is definitely, this is also indicating home and family. This could even mean a new baby coming through too, or a delay or something like that, because it is in reverse, okay? So when I'm seeing these two here, you can be very fortunate this year, okay? Um, this is a beautiful fortunate energy here too. Um, it's going, you're going to be, uh, I just feel your loving, great and noble spirit this year, okay? Emotional, beautiful love, you know, your spirit, cheerful energy, love energy. Um, good things can really happen to you this year, okay? You can um, definitely broaden your desires this year. That's one thing we're seeing here too. Don't scatter your energy around though because the four always wants you to be patient and um, persevering, okay? And building um, stability. So don't scatter your energy in too many directions either. Um, patience is needed, all right? And I just see very expansive energy. So that's really good what you guys got. And for the third deacon, um, Leo's born July 13th. Not July, August 13th through the 22nd. You have the Jack of Diamonds. It's in reverse. And you have the Three of Hearts. Okay. This is indicative also that this could be a person. This could be sometimes um, someone younger than you. This could be a brother or sibling. This could be um, some uh, a person. But it is in reverse. It can also indicate this is spiritual messages and messages coming through. This is building on something permanent and stable. This could be sometimes that you need to take care of your finances, okay? It is in reverse. This is sometimes you get, you know, um, it does indicate sometimes official business in that. But it usually is messages in that through are coming through. Um, and it is stability and growth. Now, they could be delays in it too. You have the three of hearts here, okay? That's beautiful energy for love, okay? This is um, reunions get-togethers, beautiful celebrations, happiness too. But there's always something that maybe needs to be eliminated. They sometimes say two's company, three's a crowd. Watch out for, um, you know, um, love triangles or people throwing in their own opinion. It's not the three of spades, 
but it is that is indicative sometimes um, of that energy as well. This can be um, someone coming back from the past, okay? An old flame, all right? Or you may meet someone if you're single that reminds you of someone that you used to love in the past too as well. Communications in, in love is very important too in matters of the heart communicating very clearly as well. So when you're seeing this, um, what I want to say here is you have great enthusiasm this year, okay? And great determination. Um, definitely, this could be uh, starting new jobs, beginning new jobs, seeing them through all the way to, okay? If you haven't had follow through before, if you've been quitting jobs or whatever it is or any projects, this is um, beginning new jobs, new projects, seeing things through all the way to the end. Um, a very powerful personality this year is what I'm picking up from you guys. Okay, watch your temper because when I see this and when, you, when you're needing, when this is in reverse, it does deal with um, maybe sometimes watching your temper because you have a three of cups. Like I said, three is a crowd. I'm just picking up the underlining energy. So be careful of that. And also what, what I was saying, um, avoid any people or situations who have been nasty or argumentative in the past because this is also a travel card and someone coming through. So that's one thing that I'm picking up here. All right. Um, also protect, you know, because these messages are coming in. And when I feel this energy here, it tells me protect like your eyes, your your head, your back. Uh, just protect yourself in some way. But you do have dynamic, assertive energy. Okay. So that's one thing I'm seeing there. And that's the overall there as well. So this is really nice. And we're seeing double threes here. A home and foundations coming through. We do see new beginnings over or for all of you. Communications in that and love are very important in work here. And also, um, you know, creating that stability in that. But it's a little bit in the reverse. There could be just some delays this year as well. Anyway, Leo, that was your reading. Um, I wish you all a wonderful, happy birthday. A wonderful year ahead. I do offer um, solar year birthdays. You can find them on my website. Um, yeah, this is the time to book them too. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Check out Instagram too. Like I said, I do post, um, uh, weekend readings there, mini ones and yeah, wish you all the best from the heart. Love you guys and bye for now.